gay community. Let me talk to ya. Yeah. Rejection by MP. Taking no prisoners on defense there. And there's the slam. Dump to finish it off. Adding insult to injury with the dunk. All right, 2K community. I got a question for y'all. Do you want to be a simple baller or do you want to be the animal you was meant to be? Man, send a rocket game. Boom, baby. I'm talking about a two-way slash and stretch four, AKA the ultimate and the one and only multiverse Zion Bill. And man, it can do everything. Finishing, entering beast mode is just second nature. Dominate your opponent with glory vicious dunks and lead your team to victory shooting deadly from deep is always a plus and when your opponent thinks all you can do is dunk with my custom jump shot equip that's pretty much a guaranteed bucket playmaking you didn't get that name two-way slash and stretch for for nothing equip the best dribbling styles and go to work let your opponents know that you ain't no easy foe they either gonna have to guard you at the three or prepare to go to Boomtown City, baby. And last but not least, defense, perimeter, steals, mind-blowing blocks, sky-high rebounding ability, and the strength to match that intensity. Whatever you thought you knew is wrong, because with these game-changing takeovers, become the ultimate universal threat in 2K25. Man, send a rocket again. Boom! Baby, so let's waste no time and head to the My Player Builder. We're gonna make this build at the power forward position. For the height, we going 6'6". Six, six. Zion 6'6", six, six, now you is 6'6". Six, six. We are about to be a ferocious beast. For the weight, we going 265. We want to be the heavyweight of 2K, but having the weight with this speed is absolutely astounding. For the wingspan, we going 7'2". I believe this is your max you can get, especially to get the highest blocking ability possible on this build. Hit continue, let's get it. For your physicals, let's go ahead and get that out the way. Speed, 85. Acceleration 80 strength 91 vertical 80 I just want y'all to sit back and look for a quick second with speed and acceleration plus this motion style right here Jalen Suggs you practically a track star on the court getting to the ball handle a quick fast in a hurry and with a 91 strength ooh wee you get brick wall on gold and strong handles on Hall of Fame and enforcer on Hall of Fame once you meet the attribute requirements and vertical at an 80 will have you jumping out the roof for groundbreaking blocks. You can't tell me this don't sound juicy. For finishing, let's make you an all-around talent around the rim. Close shot, 71. Driving layup, 70. Driving dunk, 90. Standing dunk, 81. Post control, 70. Now I know what you're thinking. This stat line looks pretty nice. Driving layup at a 70 is going to give you Zion layup pack. And we all know that pack is just a sweet spot. And with a 90 driving dunk, let's just say you're about to make a name for yourself. You get pro contact dunks for two foot moving dunks, for one foot moving dunks, and for alley hoops. Not only that, once you cap break, you can put plus three on your driving dunk to get gold posterizer. And once you do that, you will unlock elite alley hoop contact dunks. And all of us slashers love alley hoops. You also will unlock Kobe Bryant, Andrew Wiggins, and Russell Westbrook dunk packages, which you can equip if you want to. You also get Yannis dunk package. I know a lot of bigs like this package. So being able to get it on this build, hmm, interesting. Interesting. But of course, I will show you my animations I use towards the end of the video. Also, you get an 81 standing dunk. Man, oh man, does this build get standing dunks. It's crazy considering he's 6'6". Just look at all those anime 
nations. It's just sending chills down my spine knowing that's an easy, quick tool all day, every day. I use both rim pull and athletic standing dunk packages combined with Draymond Green signature dunk packages and it just makes for one crazy showcase. Shooting. Let's make sure you guys can be consistent beyond the arc. Mid-range, 73. Three-pointer, 83. Free throw, 71. Having an 83 three-pointer will give you these badges and give you the opportunity to stay consistent and be a valuable asset to your team. And with a 73 mid-range, have no fear, you will green up. Trust me, I'm not gonna steer you wrong. And if you equip this jump shot right here, man, oh man, talk about lighting up the defense. I have two versions of this jump shot, one for button pushers and one for rhythm shooters, just like me. The way it pulls up quick, fast, in a hurry, but maintains its hesitation at the top of the shot is just incredible. I also left a video link in the description explaining this jump shot even better and how to consistently hit that green window perfectly. So make sure you drop by and check that out, all right? Playmaking, pass accuracy, 65. Ball handling, 81. Speed with ball, 75. Now look, don't judge me on the pass accuracy. Some of y'all have a pass accuracy of a 45 right now. <laughs> And even though mine's is low, I still throw it down court, but I make sure I use IQ when making those decisions. Now your ball handling and speed with ball is on point, plus it gives you access to some nice animations. And these badges right here with strong handle on Hall of Fame. With the max plus one, you can take it straight to legendary. And ooh wee, does it feel so good to have this as a backup while dribbling. I use these animations right here when it comes to dribbling. My favorite move is always the snatch back. I use two animations when it comes to that, Zach Levine and Devin Booker, and it always a beautiful sight to see. You can also take your lightning lunch to gold by using max plus one to give you an even better speed boost when attacking the rim. Let me tell y'all something. This build is blazing fast and is meant to get to the rack. Now for my favorite part of the build, defense. <laughs> <laughs> Interior, 82. Perimeter, 89. Steel, 60. Block, 78. Now everyone knows I gotta make sure we good on defense. And with these badges right here, makes for easy defending capabilities. Like Interior, a lot of bids gonna test your might because of your height. But with that high strength, getting past you won't be so easy. And when it comes to perimeter and any opponent who dares to drive, they will be met with brute force. Because with enforcement at Hall of Fame, we can use Max Plus One to take it to Legendary. And when this badge is activated, that's it. Game over. A 60 steal will always give you the opportunity to intercept the ball or get on ball steals. Nothing too complicated about that. Now blocking. Ooh wee. Now I have had some nasty big time blocks. Rejecting everything at the rim. Sometimes it absolutely feels like my vertical is higher than an 80. Just look at those animals. I'm looking like a 6'6 center out there. <laughs> and you can take high flyer denial to go to get those nasty chase downs if you choose so. But the animations you seeing right now is all on silver. And last but not least, rebounding. Offensive rebounds, 80. Defensive rebounds, 92. When it comes to rebounding, you get these badges right here. And to have a stat sheet like what you see right now with rebounding is just bananas. Outrageous. I mean, just look at how I'm grabbing all these boys like a center. Now, you're not going to grab them all, but to have a chance is more than enough. I'm even able to grab offensive boards, and I haven't tested a takeover that increases both offensive rebound and defensive rebound, but I can only imagine how much of a little terror this build would be. I can tell you now this will be a problem in the park and theater, and I'm already using it in rec, and as you can see, it does its thing. Now, if you don't care too much about rec, rebounding, then of course you can bring it down some to increase your pass accuracy if you choose so. Now I asked the 2k guards, what do you think? And they said, this is gonna be fun, 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 my boy. Now that you have entered the matrix and created the perfect Zion build, a two-way slash and stretch for the person we all wanted him to be. Now when it comes to dribbling animations and pull-up shots, this is what I use to get creative on the court. One important thing I want to point out is max stra 
plus dribble pull up. This bad boy is so nasty and easy to time, especially around the three point line. The way you pull up gives you the opportunity to green all day long. I even did a dribble pull up at the three by accident and still timed it on time. And of course, here's my dribble animations. I'm not that much of a dribbler, but I did create a beastie point guard. So one day I'm gonna show y'all boys something. But if you have any suggestions, let your boy know in the comments. Dunk animations. Now when it comes to my dunk animations, I like to slam the ball around the rim with authority. So a lot of my dunk packages I use will give me those effects. For two foot moving dunks, hangs, fist pump rim pulls, back scratches, back scratcher rim hangs, basic, basic two handles off two, reverse, baseline reverse off two, and equip pro contact dunks for one foot moving dunks. Tomahawks Uber Athletic Tomahawks off one, and equip pro contact dunk for standing dunks, rim pulls, pro under basket rim pulls, and elite basket rim pulls. Athletic two handed under basket athletic signature dunks. I use Draymond Green, LeBron James, and Latrell Sprewell. And last but not least, for alley hoops, equip everything for pro, elite, and Zion Williamson. Also equip pro contact dunks. And of course, once you put cap breakers on your driving dunk, you will get that nasty elite alley who contact dunks. Now the big question you might have is, have you ran into a tough opponent? Yes, but it happened only once. And honestly, no matter how good you make your build, if the 2K guards wants you to lose, then that's just what's gonna happen. Because other than that, this little slasher gets to the rack and defends the rack at the same time. Now that you have witnessed an awesome build, if this is something that interests you, I encourage you to take this build and hit those courts. Now before you go, I'ma need for y'all to do me a solid favor and drop that like, subscribe, or follow, and hit that notification bell because the grind game, we always pushing. And for everyone that's still grinding out there, I salute you. Until then, holla at your boy.